say we're, we've got rain chances, but I think through the middle portion of the day, we've got a good shot at it being pretty nice out there. We'll go over that forecast in a second. For today, though, soak it in. We are looking absolutely beautiful out there. 78 degrees, and humidity's not too bad. In the mid-50s, our dew points have been lingering in the upper 50s to low 60s. Out in Ames, though, same story. It's almost so bright you need glasses just to look out at their, at their school net camera. Uh, people walking around enjoying their day, and by all accounts, you should, because we don't have a lot on the way besides the heat and the sunshine today. Still watching Bill spin his way off to the east, just off to our southeast, and you can see we're trying to drive in a little bit of light rain from the, from the northwest. This will be breaking up as it makes its way our direction. So don't expect a whole lot from that as we put together a wonderful day. We've got tons of sunshine, especially here in the metro. That temperature climbs up to 83 degrees. We do back it down as we head into the evening, down to 64 degrees. But we'll, like, we'll likely keep those clouds, those pesky clouds out of the way for a little bit longer. We've got a lot of heat building off to the west, though. And as we head into tomorrow, this stream makes its way our direction, and that is going to provide ample heat and moisture for us as this front slides through to tip off some stronger thunderstorms. So best chances we'll take a look at those locations coming up here soon. But no, that is even as we head into the evening, we start to taper that back so it won't necessarily be an all-day thing. But we'll definitely have multiple chances. Futurecast brings in a wave early on on Saturday, but before that, plenty of sunshine. Nearly clears us out completely for our Friday. Start to bring in some clouds associated with that next system by the morning hours. And then you see that initial wave that will push through in the morning. And that's going to keep us relatively cloud-packed in for a bit. And then the secondary wave as we push into the afternoon. This is where some of the stronger storms could form. And Futurecast has it coming right through the metro. So keep yourself weather aware if you are headed out and about, perhaps on a bike ride or anything tomorrow, as we will likely be seeing those stronger storms. Today, hanging on to the warmth. We're hanging on to the sunshine. A few clouds off to the north associated with that little uh, batch of showers that will be pushing on through. But again, that will be breaking up as it makes its way our direction. Partly cloudy tonight, 64 degrees, so a mild one, but we pump the heat tomorrow, 89 degrees, bringing those chances for showers and thunderstorms. And over the next three days here, we keep it warm. 89 on Saturday, more chances, uh, I'd say, at the beginning and end of the day on Sunday with a high of 87. After that, we keep the balminess intact. 87 is Tuesday and Wednesday, even lows in the upper 60s, so we keep the moisture around, we keep the humidity around. It's going to be summer's a couple days away, and yep. we're, we're already in the full swing of it right here. All right. Good for the corn, as they it, say. It is.